a really clean ADB MPU board. No alkaline corrosion, which is nice. The problem with it is that somebody tried to take the OEM daughter card off and hacked a bunch of the traces up so that they had torn the eyelets and ripped up traces, etc. So what I do is replace the OEM card with one of Ed from Great Plains Electronics aftermarket boards. And the advantage of Ed's board is that it creates redundant connections between U2 and U3. So even though some of the eyelets are torn up on U3, it makes a connection to the game prom via U2. Really nicely engineered. Also replace the 100 microfarad input power filter cap. I'm gonna leave this coin cell uh, battery holder on here and uh, I'm at, I've asked the client if he'd like to have NVRAM installed. Installed the slam switch mod. I think this is going back into a gold wings. So I'm gonna use my homebrew switch matrix tester to enter into test. And I'm gonna skip all the initial ones and go right to lamp test. And you can see that it is driving the driver board correctly. I'll show uh, the game in a track mode in just a moment. So hopefully you can see or hear something going on with each of those solenoid actuations. So I'm gonna walk through column one of the switch matrix. And I'm gonna skip 07 because that is the test advance button. And now I'm on row one. And this switch matrix is operating properly. Now I'm gonna press the 07. Dip switch settings, E1, E7, 0, 3, CB. Those of you that can read in hexadecimal will quickly realize that those are correct. And display test. The infinitely boring Gottlieb System ADB display test. Working fine. Memory test, and this is one of the problems where the traces were ripped up even after I put the U2, U3 board in the MPU could not access all of the address lines for PROM1, and then that ended up being a fractured trace at pin one of the daughter card. So I beefed that up, good to go. Let me reboot the game, and we will see that all of the Playfield attract lamps or operating properly. So this one's good to go, super clean board. Happy to help the client get it fixed and I really appreciate his patience as I was working through the queue. Thanks very much.